It's time for FTV News with your anchors and the entire FTV News team. Good morning, morning Ocrest, and, and welcome, welcome to, to Falcon, Falcon TV. TV. Today is Thursday, October 26th. I'm Alana, and joining me on the show today is Connor and Roger. Good morning, Falcons. We have two special guests with us today. Bill Elliott and Christine D'Alessandro are two representatives from the Be a Hero campaign. We have talked to them for more information about the campaign and upcoming events. Hi, I'm Bill Elliott, Chairman and CEO of the John R. Elliott Hero Campaign. And we're here, I'm here with uh, Christine D'Alessandro to talk to you about the upcoming Hero Walk this Sunday, October 29th at 6th Street in the Boardwalk in Ocean City. And it's all to promote the Hero Campaign's mission to prevent drunk driving by promoting the use of safe and sober designated drivers. And uh, Christine is here to give you all the details of how you can register and join us. Thanks, Bill. So our walk will be this Sunday, October 29th in Ocean City, and it starts at 11 o'clock. This year, we also added a 5K run, which will begin at 9.30. So whether you're a runner, you can come early and participate in that 5K. The fastest time will win a Fitbit. Or you can come with your friends or your family or a team of your own and participate in the walk at 11 o'clock. The price for students in advance is $15 for the walk and $20 for the run. The price goes up if you register on the actual day, so please get to the website, herowalkrun.org, to register, and we hope to see you there. There'll be face painting and music and a lot of fun, so help us be a hero and be a designated driver at this weekend's Hero Walk. Well, you heard it here, Falcons. If you want a pamphlet with the information about the walk and about the campaign, or a sticker with the campaign slogan on it, make sure to see Mr. Lockwood or Mr. Thomas. And once again, we'd like to thank Mr. Elliott and Ms. Alessandro for coming in today and talking to us about distracting drug driving. Remember, Falcons, be a hero, be a designated driver. As drive testing is being held today, the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery is a multiple choice test that helps identify which military jobs are best for each individual and measures knowledge and ability in 10 different areas. The score determines whether one is qualified to enlist in the U.S. military as well as determine how qualified one is for the certain military occupational specialty. Good luck to all those taking the test. Did you finish filling out your permission forms for later today? That's right, today begins the first round of tryouts for Powder Puff after school. Uh, there's one more time for tryouts tomorrow. Um, any questions, see Ms. Rock or Ms. Chapini in room 209 and 230. FTV is coming to a new location. By the end of the week, you can catch FTV at Falcon TV News on Snapchat. Good morning, I'm Preston, and welcome to Falcon TV. Today is... Why are you guys filming on Snapchat? It's the Snapchat version of Falcon TV. You can get all your information off of it, too. That sounds so cool. Can I add it? Yeah, you can add it at Falcon TV News. Thanks. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> the blood drive is coming, and the Red Cross is asking for your help. It is open to all seniors, juniors, and sophomores. But anyone who is 16 needs a parent permission form to found outside room 301 or in the guidance from Ms. Alvarado. The Hero Campaign is about the importance of not driving while intoxicated and of going to a party, being responsible, and having a designated driver. The door decorating contest is already underway. Doors should be completed by Monday before Halloween. The pumpkin contests have been approved and are also underway. That's right. You can carve or decorate a pumpkin and bring it in to be judged. The pumpkins must be brought by Monday the 30th and will be judged on Halloween. The winners will be given gift cards to Wawa. The doors and costumes will also be judged on Halloween. Costumes for best group and best individual outfits. So Halloween is in the air and next Tuesday will be an exciting day here at the Oak. That's it for everyone here at FTP News. Thanks for watching and have a great day.